Hey Simon, you were on CNBC recently saying, buy the recovery, not the pandemic. What did you mean? Tell us more. Well, the most common narrative is that US stocks have been rising despite the pandemic. But perhaps a more accurate description is that US stocks have been rising because of the pandemic. The S&P 500 index has been driven disproportionately by stay-home, work-from-home stocks. These are the top five stocks by market capitalization. Microsoft, you've got Apple, you've got Amazon, Facebook, you've got Google or Alphabet, and then you add Netflix. So these are stocks that benefit from people being locked down at home, working from home, shopping online, fiddling with their devices and streaming digital entertainment from home. But what's wrong with buying the pandemic? We are in a pandemic. Well, it's the valuations. These stocks are trading on forward PE ratios of around 30 times or more. For Netflix, it is 79 times. And for Amazon, it's eye-watering. It's 111 times. Collectively, if you look at tax stocks as represented by the NASDAQ 100 index, they are trading at a ratio of over three times compared to the S&P 500 index. Now, the last time that happened was in early 2000, just before the dot-com bubble burst. But with the world locked down and economies shut, what is the alternative? Well, the alternative is recovery. You have to make that judgment. Will we ever get over this pandemic? And I believe we will. A vaccine will be found, or at least effective treatments, or a combination of both. We are already six months into the pandemic, and markets tend to anticipate events. So what happens when the markets anticipate recovery? The market will start switching from expensive pandemic stocks to beaten down recovery stocks, such as financials, the energy sector, industrial, and importantly, emerging markets. For example, the S&P 500, the energy sector, is still down 37% year to date, and financials are down 18%. Compare that with tax stocks, which are up 21%, and consumer discretionary, which are up 18%. But why have consumer discretionary stocks done so well? Are they pandemic plays too? It's crazy in the midst of a huge decline in consumer discretionary spending. But there has been a huge surge of buying in one particular segment of consumer discretionary, and that's consumer electronics. So the market has overpriced even consumer discretionary stocks for just that one segment of stay home spending. The markets seem to be correcting a bit now. Should we wait? What I'm noticing is there has been of late been a rotation away from the NASDAQ towards the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And that's a shift from pandemic stocks to recovery stocks. Yes, there may be a correction in the making, but that correction will fall heavier on those overvalued pandemic stocks than the recovery stocks. So even if you don't want to buy just yet, start looking, particularly within the Asia X Japan markets. Start with the financials, the banks, and move on to the industrials, the manufacturers, and eventually even REITs. Okay, we are out of time. Thank you, Simon, for your say. Thank you.